welcome to another Safari TV diary. Start out with one of the troops of Vivid Monkey around camp during the day. With no electricity in camp, it's uh, one of the opportune moments to catch some of these at work and play, busy foraging. One of them relaxing quite a bit while I sit and watch with the video camera, not minding my presence at all. And like this little one, looking at me as if I was the alien. And here we have a beautiful, plump Natal Spurfowl busy foraging in an area where we have our meals often, picking up some of the crumbs left behind. And we have a tree squirrel that is joining this beautiful Spurfowl. One of the young monkeys perched on this thorny branch making sure to hold on tight, not to fall off. And uh, here we have another one with mom this time. Mom feeding on something and uh, the little one intrigued by, by what's in mom's mouth. eventually finding something to nibble on, being one of the fruits of the buffalo thorn tree nearby. And here we start afternoon drive near the camp. We're on the northern edge of quarantine open area at the moment and we've just been watching some really really interesting behavior that two seconds before we came live dissipated and we had some interspecific action going on. This baboon that is sitting underneath this marula tree eating whatever it is that he's eating, he's been ousted from the troop but the young warthog was teasing the baboon and then the baboon was sort of half-heartedly chasing the warthog. And on our way to Bifflesook Dam, we bumped into this particular bird. Okay, There's a bird for people to identify. One of the spur fowl. And it turned out to be the Shelley's Franklin. And on we go, and Mark uh, making his way up to the dam itself, looking out for that elusive Nile crocodile either in the water or lying on the banks. Yeah, I would expect one of these sunny banks. Not finding too much, ending up with this beautiful, serene picture of Buffalo Sook Dam. Join us tomorrow for another Safari TV Diary.